Hello, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am Nick from Australia. Welcome to the Thursday Night Football Review for Round 20 of the NRL, where we saw the Sydney Roosters absolutely pump the Parramatta Eels. 28 points to nil up there at BB Stadium, up in, or BB Prince Stadium, I should say, up there in Mackay. My God, the Parramatta Eels tonight were absolutely disgusting. They were putrid. They made me physically sick. Now, I know they had no Mitchell Moses, but you still got to go out there and play foot even if you have your halfback out. Show some guts for crying out loud. They were, they were abysmal tonight, the Eels. They were absolutely disgusting. They were awful. But, um, guys, if you guys, if you, if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys like this video. Comment your thoughts on tonight's game in the comment section below. Make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel. Let's get into the review, man. The Roosters had a really big win up there at, um... BB Prince Stadium in Mackay tonight. It all started off there in the 25th minute. Sam Walker, beautiful cutout ball to Josh Morris. He steps back on the inside. Josh Morris scores the first try of the game. Adam Kieran kicks the goal. Roosters 6 0. But I, I want to say, the first, 20, the first 20 minutes of the game was very sloppy. Both sides were off their game the first 20 minutes. Lots of errors. Lots of um, poor discipline from both sides early on. But then. Like I said, the Roosters scoring the first try there. In the 25th minute, great start there from the Chooks. And then, literally the next set, so two tries in two minutes. In the 27th minute, Sam Walker, inside ball to James Tedesco. He passes on to Satili Tupanua. He scores for the Roosters. Great try from the Chooks. Back-to-back -back tries for them. Adam Kieran kicks the goal. Roosters 12-0 after 27 minutes. And um, I guess the other big news, big news at this stage of the game... Regan Campbell-Gillard injured his groin. They had Blake Ferguson in the uh, 30th minute. He cut his head wide open. They had Wagga Blake fail on HIA right before half time. So they had all sorts of dramas. He also had to play Will Smith at left centre. They had Oppa check on the right side, which is just not good. So they had a, they had a few problems there, the Eels. They had Oregon Confuci playing big minutes out there tonight. Sean Lane as well. But anyway, we'll move on. Half time. Roosters. Our leading was 18-0 or something. That was trouble for half time, I believe. Let me have a look. Um, half time, Roosters 12 points to nil. And I thought Parramatta, they were still in the game at half time, but they weren't showing much in attack. They looked really, really flat, very lethargic. They didn't look good at all in the first half of the Eels. And then in the second half, in the um, in the 52nd minute, Drew Hutchison with a very nice uh, ball. At the back to Sam Walker. Tom, Tom Upacek got isolated there. Angus cried with a very nice decoy. And then uh, Walker runs through. Dummies it on Clint Gutherson. Very poor defense of Gutherson. You always go for the man with the ball. Never fall for dummies. It's just so stupid. Anyway, a try to uh, Sam Walker. Sam Walker, I uh, want well, not Sam Walker. Uh, Adam Kieran kicks the goal, I believe. Roosters 18-0. 53 minutes to go in the game when I'm thinking, well, I don't know if Parramatta can come back. I really don't know. And then, in the 64th minute, Clint Gutherson, one of the dumbest passes I've ever seen in my life. He throws the ball to Mike Acevo. It was one of the stupidest passes I have ever seen in my life. My God. What was he thinking? It was absolutely dumb, stupid, and all the rest. It was just so dumb. So, Sevo knocks the ball on him going, well, this is this is disgusting. What are the Eels doing? This is this, this is unlike Parramatta. And then, in the 60, 60, 69th minute, Hutchison to Adam Kieran. Daniel Tupo scores over in the corner. Um, Adam Kieran misses the kick there. Roosters 22-0. 10 minutes left. And then, in the 75th minute, Roosters get a penalty. Joseph Money, quick tap. He runs 60 metres and scores for the Roosters. And at full time, the Roosters have beaten the Eels. 28 points to nil up there at BB Prince Stadium in Mackay. Now, Parramatta tonight, my God, they were putrid. Completion rate was 74%. The exact same completion rate as the Roosters. Yeah, they still couldn't score points. They did not handle the conditions whatsoever. Parramatta for mine, man. Extremely disappointing. They showed nothing. Jacob Arthur, I think he's a very good young player coming through. But he has proven to me that he is not ready for NRL first grade. I know Brad Arthur is... Um, I, I know Jacob Arthur's dad is Brad Arthur, the coach. But 
My god, you've got to get rid of Jacob Arthur. He is a disease. He is shit. He's not ready for first grade yet. He might be good in a couple of years' time when he develops, but until then, he is nothing more than a backup player, and he just sucks. He blatantly sucks. Get Jordan Rankin in there. If Mitchell Moses ain't good to go next week, or Bryce Cartwright can go to 5'8", and they can put Dylan Brown to halfback. And now Dylan Brown, he's another one. Dylan Brown's a good player. When your main playmaker's out, the team's going to look to you, Dylan Brown. Dylan Brown needs to, needs to be the one that steps up. He was shocking. They were all shocking, Parramatta. It's hard to find any good players with the Eels. My God, the Roosters on the other end. The Roosters look great. They played brilliant footy. They can, they um, they they manage the conditions really well. And what the Roosters do so well, they do better than anyone else. They are very, very patient. They are a calm football side. They have lost so many players this year. They've lost Jake Friend, Boyd Cordner, Brett Morris. They lost um, Ikevalu. They lost Joseph Sawali. They lost Luke Keary. They lost so many players. Jake Friend. The list goes on and on and on. But they still find a way to get the job done. Adam Kerry played center tonight. And he did a terrific job. They had Manu on the wing. He did not look out of place at all. They had Sam Verrills play a good game at number nine. So the Roosters just find a way to win. But we'll get into some of the great players tonight. But both sides will start off with the Roosters, obviously. James Tedesco, he was absolutely outstanding. Tupo and Manu. Joseph Manu was unbelievable. 373 metres. Are you fucking kidding me? Manu was unbelievable. And Adam Kieran played really well. Josh Morris played good until he done his hamstring. Uh, Hutchison was very good, I thought. Sam Walker was outstanding. Uh, Jared Maria Hargraves in his 250th game had a really good game as well. Um, Satili Tupanil and Angus Crichton were causing havoc. They were very good. Radley was a little bit quiet for mine. Um, Siwa Takayaho was great. Nat Butcher was good as well. As for the Eels, very hard to find some good players for them. Man, they were shithouse across the park. The Eels, they were really bad. You know, I thought Walker Blake tried really hard in a beat side. I thought, um, I thought Junior Paulo and Isaiah Papali tried quite hard out there for the Eels. Nathan Brown was okay. Sean Lane, I thought, I thought Sean Lane actually did a really good job out there tonight. Oregon Confucius as well. And Will Smith, he played center for a majority of the game and he did a great job. So not good for the not good for the Eels. But the Roosters now, they are now equal fourth on the ladder. They are still in fifth because of four and against, but the Roosters, the Seagulls, they are breathing down Parramatta's neck. So if you're an Eels fan, you should be nervous. They've got a really tough draw coming up, the Eels. They've got the um, Rabbitohs next week. They've got Seagulls the week after. Then they then they take on the Cowboys. Then they play um, Melbourne. And they finish with Penrith. Very tough draw for the Eels. It's a nightmare draw for them. But the Roosters, they did very well tonight. And they deserve to win the game. And keeping the Eels scoreless is definitely something that Trent Robinson will be very, very happy about. But my top three players on ground for tonight's game between the Roosters and the Eels. I'm going to go number three. I'm going to go with James Tedesco. I thought he was great. Number two, uh, Sam Walker. He had a really good game. And number one, my man the match. It's going to go to Joseph Manu, man. He scored a great try. 373 metres from Joseph Manu. That is simply world class. Unbelievable performance from Joseph Manu. He is my man the match for tonight's for tonight's game and the Roosters win over the Eels. But guys, if you if you guys enjoyed the Thursday Night Football review, make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Good luck to the Roosters next weekend when they take on um, the Penrith Panthers and what will be a big game. And good luck to the Eels next Friday night when I take on the Bunnies. But guys, thanks for watching. Have a great night and I'll see you guys in the next one.